All right, uh, this is Premier Sport Fan Center, and yeah, with uh, is a fans' opinion from the street side. Yeah, we listen to fans' opinion from the street side, and uh, a lot of matches lined up for the weekend. Big, big matches uh, where we have uh, uh, Chelsea against Brighton, Arsenal against Leicester City, Manchester United against Tottenham, and Barcelona against Al Sassuolo. A lot of important matches line up. Yeah, so we we'll go hear what the fans have to say about their respective club. Yeah, this is fans' opinion from the street side. <laughs> What is your name? My name is David Lawa. Uh, David Lawa, David Lawa, yeah. Are you a sport lover? I used to be a sport lover, but I'm a sportsman myself. A sportsman, yeah. Football lover too. Yeah, I play football right. and I love football. Uh, what is your club? Uh, my favorite club used to be f f Chelsea. What? You say used to be Chelsea? Are, no, are you no longer a Chelsea fan? No, 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 no. I am no more. I, I'm a retired football fan. Uh, retired <laughs> Chelsea fan. Why do, you, <laughs> why do you retire as a Chelsea fan? Well, so uh, a couple of reasons. Maybe because I play football and I enjoy the sports, right? So I love watching football and um, I love Chelsea as, at the time. And I got to a time that maybe not just because of Chelsea, but because Chelsea was my fan, my club. Okay. So every time you watch a match and uh, I play football, like I said, so you, start, you see certain things that they do on the pitch and you're like, Normally, this thing is supposed to happen now. How, how did they come about this decision? How is the uh, coach making this um, choice of a player or uh, um, change that he makes sometimes on the pitch, the substitution? Yeah. And then at the end of the day, they just they, they get defeated and it wrecks my heart. Like, it they pay me. <laughs> so, and then, okay, I, I think I remember it was after uh, Mourinho left Chelsea. Mm. The moment Mourinho left Chelsea, I just felt like, I don't know if they're going to get any other coach again that would uh, let the game in Chelsea be that fun as it used to be. So after that, the game wasn't encouraging. So I just gave up on I gave up on Chelsea as a sport as my club. And then I basically gave up on Premier League, uh, Champions League, like basically all the foreign footballs. Wow. But now if I see if they are watching if they are, if I, for example if they are playing a game, I still have a sentiment for Chelsea. Okay. So on my phone for example, I have a Google alert that tells me that there's a game between Chelsea and another club for example yeah. and then it tells me the game starts in so so minutes or so so time okay. and I, while i would not sit down and watch the disappointment because <laughs> for me each time i sit down i want to watch Chelsea, it's always like <laughs> disappointment again <laughs> disappointment <laughs> again <laughs> so while i would not sit down and watch it i'll just go back and watch google alerts half time chelsea zero uh, <laughs> everton two okay <laughs> They're the beaters. Okay, no wala. <laughs> so I still say us because I still have that sentiment for Chelsea. It's right. also soft spot for Chelsea. Yeah, I still have that soft spot for Chelsea. And I know, for example, there's a game. Uh, Chelsea has a uh, match this weekend yeah. uh, Brighton. against Brighton ahead. Uh, hey. mm -hmm. So those details, if you know, they my head like that, like that. I make I follow them back to back. Yeah. But I still get small, small sentiments for football because now football now you know if you invest with football, mm -hmm. even if you invest for the club, you know if you invest for football, right? So, hey. so for that reason, I still follow Chelsea bit by bit, mm -hmm. but not as detailed as some other fans will do. Well, but if you hear what is happening right now in Chelsea, will you come back to Chelsea? Because right now they are doing well. Ah, uh, well, so before I gave up on Chelsea, they were doing well. So the, <laughs> thing, the thing with football is, <laughs> no matter how mm. bad your club is, or no matter how good they were doing, mm. so those who are Chelsea, uh, who are Arsenal fans, I celebrate them. Yeah. They have long suffering. They are very endurant. <laughs> so, <laughs> they are very endurant. So, a lot of, yes, so me, I don't have that long suffering to wait on a club and see players that are making money off. I go watch them; they make money, and they're gonna give me a hard break on top. Say they make money. So me, I don't have that endurance. That's why I gave up. So I know that I've been hearing that Chelsea is doing well lately, but I don't want to give that commitment again to coming back. And I think it's because of the, this the, um, recent development that I said the Google alerts. Yeah. So just to see how they are doing. I think the last match was it uh, Bradford or what uh, club did they play? And they played, was it 3-0 or so? Yeah, yeah. At halftime, they scored 3-0. I was like, oh, good. Ah, Chelsea don't do well, though. But of course, by the time they play a major uh, team now, it's a disappointment. <laughs> so I'm not following them back to back again, but I, I wish them well. All right, right now, the Chelsea, the Chelsea you are talking about right now, they've only lo lost one match, and that was against Manchester City. And that was the first time they dominated position against Manchester City. The new coach, Enzo Mereska, is doing very well with the, with the present Chelsea squad. Uh, can you please give them your heart again for once? Give them a try. Okay, maybe. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, based on based on this conversation we are having now, uh, I will go back and give them a try, uh, at least maybe for this season, and see how far they come this season. If they disappoint me again, I go back to my loan, loaners club. <laughs> but okay, right now, if you are not supporting Chelsea, which club will you be supporting? Ah, uh, okay. If I was not supporting Chelsea, I would rather be supporting. I I, I have a sentiment for Manchester. Manchester United. Yes, Manchester. Manchester United. Okay. But. I have never followed them that much. So uh, if I want to, if I will not follow Chelsea now, uh, I would rather follow Manchester United. All right, all right. If you do not follow Chelsea now, I'd rather follow Manchester United, one of the biggest clubs. All right, what is your prediction for the match between Brighton and Chelsea on, on Saturday? Okay, going by the recent developments mm -hmm. and the bright side of Chelsea, I would say the game will end in a 2-1. In favor of Chelsea. Favor. All right, right now, I, I, I'm not that's by the fact that you have not been following Chelsea, but you are hearing about one certain um, Nicholas Jackson. Yes, I, I heard. Uh -huh. I heard. Uh, what did you hear about him? I think I heard that. Uh, was it a uh, news? Uh, what's it called? Um, what's it called now? What's I forgot the words that they use in football now. Like what? Uh, scoring goals. No, no, no. When uh, was it when it was purchased or what did they call it? How did they transfer? Call it? Transfer. Uh, uh -huh. mm. I heard then about the transfer and everything. So, mm. but I've not followed the match so much to know how well he's doing in in the, in the club and, and all that. The last time I heard of him was uh, during the transfer window when when he came he came on board. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Davido. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. I just hope your position come through on Saturday. Ah well, I hope so, and I'm not raising my hope too much. That's why I'm leaving it at two one. <laughs> Give me your heart. Give Chelsea your heart. You know, you give Chelsea your heart, but half heart too, so that they will not bust it at once. But right now, I'm very sure they are not going to break your heart. I'll start with the quarter hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right, you very much. <laughs>